Okay, so let's talk about praying. So there's this thing in the journal here. When you're a priest, you become a priest, you get some extra journal entries. The first one is dedication. And, um, you know, as you work through the, the journal entries, you start unlocking other levels. Um, the way that the journal works is that once you unlock, or once you've completed 50% of the entries for a certain level, it'll unlock the next level for you to start working towards. And once you finish 50% of that one, it'll unlock the next one. It seems that priests have three levels in the journal. And I think that benediction is the last one. Okay. Um, now, if you take a look at some of these, the ones that I have remaining, link with another priest. Okay. That, that's, I, <laughs> what's funny is that I had another priest linking with this guy, but I never took him and linked it with another guy. So that takes two seconds to do. Listen to a confession. Again, another two second thing to do. Sacrifice a creature while in your deity's domain, simple to do. These things I could just knock off right away and get the two hour sleep bonus plus the title. Like I could pretty much do that right now. I don't think I'm going to do that though because I have three hours, 40 minutes on my sleep bonus bar and I wanna work that down before I do that. Okay, so yeah. And you've done six out of 10 in Benediction. There's no subsequent journal, right? Yeah, meditation and brick making, those are the two skills you dislike. <laughs> brick making. Well, that skill, brick making skill, uh, you can improve to get that. This the stone cutting skill. Yeah, improve grindstones. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to make sure I'm not missing too much here. Anything that I need meditation on a path of knowledge anymore than I could throw my river. I'm going to fart. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I just don't, I hate meditation. Okay. So in the second one, I feel like the Electrum statuette, that's just going to take time because my jewel crafting is low and you can't get that up as a priest by improving. So it'll just be a matter of like smashing together to get it eventually it's i think i'll have a six percent chance recover 50 favor from a vessel gem i'm actually surprised i didn't do that yet because i was i accidentally poured all of my favor bar which was probably at halfway so half my favor bar I poured into a gem by accident and i used it i would have guessed that it would give me 50 favor but anyway not hard to do i could probably do that really quickly it'll just be a sacrifice of a gem uh did all those fully align with your deity that's going to happen soon um, i've been purposely trying to keep my alignment down to increase the difficulty of casts so that i get better skill gain but it despite my best efforts at keeping it down my alignment is where's my alignment it's up here is at 87 right so it's like I, I was like at one point i'm like i'm trying to keep it below 60 let's just keep it below 60. nope and it just kept going up because random things you do just give you an alignment gain. So that's going to hit 100 very soon. Reach 70 faith, that's going to happen soon. Right, I'm at 67.96, so give it maybe a week or two and it's going to hit 70. Okay, so this one is going to get done at some point relatively soon. Benediction, create a gold altar. So again, I'm going to have to work on jewel crafting and the only way to do that right now is to um, combine things, you know, like by combinate, by just like spamming rings or something like that. I'm just gonna have to spam make holes. Um, won't a hundred in alignment do a sermon group? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're gonna get a hundred in alignment, especially if you go to a sermon group. Yeah, for sure. Um, and the statues we ears to the altar. Yeah. The altar is going to be really tough. Uh, you're going to, I'm going to have to probably grind out my skill by just spam creation of bowls or something like this. Um, I'll probably make myself a jewel crafting affinity food and turn on my sleep bonus and 
Is it me or is there something flickering in the top left of the stream? That's so weird. What is that? Okay, well, I think it was like some artifact that I got rid of. Okay. Um, yeah, the altar is going to be tr trouble. Reaching 90 faith. Again, that's just going to be a matter of time. I'm going to get there. Cast a global spell. Hmm. That's going to take some organization. I'm going to have to get myself in a group that is casting these global spells. I think you can just be linked to the person who's casting it, right? So cast yourself or link to a priest that casts a global spell. Um, again, this is like a one-off thing. I'll just have to get it organized and participate in that and I'll get it. Sacrifice a champion creature. Okay. Again, I just have to kill a champion creature and sac or not kill it, but sacrifice it. It's a one-off thing. Spend a thousand favor, a thousand, a hundred thousand favor, which I'm on the path, I'm already halfway done that one, so that's gonna happen. Pulled a hundred sermons. Okay, so I'm gonna probably at some point have to join a sermon group for that. Um, it looks like I've held 12. Reach 70 prayer. Okay, so that's this is the one. Okay, so keep going. Sacrifice a thousand, a ten thousand items. That's going to happen as I, I'm already 13% of the way and I've only just started with the rope making. Uh, and that's going to, that's not going to take too long. Uh, receive 100 gems from prayer. I'm at 44%. Again, that's going to happen as well. So you'll notice every single one kind of had this thing of like, it's going to happen, right? Like I, I'm going to get there. The only one that I might have paused on was create a gold altar where I'm going to have to grind out some jewel smithing, but it's something I can do on my own time. And I can, I have no doubt I'll be able to get there, but this one reach 70 prayer, reach 70 prayer. Let's see what you guys are saying before I get into this rant. Yeah. Just linked to get the global. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got three priest ulti players sticking together for sermoning. Yep. Uh, let's see. As a rule of thumb, grind the sub skill or a skill to get ticks in both. But important to know the tool enchants will only affect the primary of the item. So if you imp a bow, you will get bowery skill and carpentry, but only bowery skill ticks will benefit from COC on the tool. Interesting. I did not know that. So only the skill that you're working on. So like, let's say you are imping rhinestones, then the COC on your tool will not give you mace, will not affect the masonry skill gain. I never knew that. It's interesting. Okay, I'm going to turn on my sleep bonus for this. Okay, I'll watch my skill tip. Okay. So it's, yeah, 70 prayer is stupid. That one is crazy. I have a friend on PvP. He sits for hours each day and prays, and he's still not 70. It's insane how many hours he's been doing it. Yep. Um, that one is done with a one quality altar in another god's domain. Or you can go to Epic and get it in like two weeks. The only downside is that there you will need to priest yourself on elevation at the light. Yeah. So I'll get into that and what that means. I did the altar with 13 jewel crafting skill. Okay, so I'm going to have to get up to 13 jewel crafting skill, which is painful if you're doing it by creation, but uh, it's doable. It would be one thing if the prayer had a real benefit. Yeah, I know. Like maybe let prayers give a percent bonus to spell power or something. What people think 70 prayer and then enchant bonus or less prayer and less bonus. What people think 70 prayer and that enchant bonus or less prayer and less bonus. I'm not sure exactly what you're asking there, Amethyst. Right, so the, yeah, so you're on the North server grid. So Epic is not there. So no Epic curve. I need to try that one quality altar in another god's domain. Yeah, so let's see, what quality is this altar? This altar is 15 quality. How did it become 15 quality? How do you bring a quality of an altar down? Like I know I can maybe make another altar um, that's one quality, 
by using one quality mats, that's not a problem. Is there a way to reduce the quality of this altar? It's just as... <laughs> right. Doesn't it work just to go to another god's domain and just pray at the water there? Interesting. I'm not sure if praying at the water is going to give you the same um, skill. Okay, faction fight. Important. If you go to Epic for 70 prayer, do not let it be the laughter karma. Yes. Exactly. So this is definitely a big, big, big th problem. If you've completed all the other requirements for benediction and 70 prayer is your very last one, if you go over to Epic to do that method that makes it super easy to get to 70 prayer, what's going to end up happening is you'll gain benediction, but on the Epic cluster, and you will not be bringing that back to freedom. So make sure it's not the last one. Would it be better if you would need less prayer skill for the journal, but it receives less enchant bonus? It's all I see. I don't think people would like that, especially those people who finished the 70 prayer already. Can all just be bashed and repaired to bring the quality down? Yes. However, if I bash this altar as my as a priest, so if I use my priest to do that, I'm going to lose faith, which I don't want to do. So I will probably do, yeah, you, I will probably do that at, with my uh, other character or whatever. Um, okay, so I'm praying here, and my prayer is not going up that slow right now. It's like at 0.07. I've been doing this, though, a little bit each day. So I'll pray and pray with my sleep bonus on. Um, I might get 0.3 or something like that, and I stop. But from what I'm hearing, this goes down substantially as your skill goes up, right? Like when you get to about 50 or 60 prayer, this process takes forever. Oh, I see. If you use a low quality silver or gold, got it. So when I go and make that gold altar, I can use that one because it'll be low quality. And I can just plop it right down next to that faux altar over there, for example. And it'll be I'll be in a faux domain. I wonder. I wonder. If I go over if I bring that faux altar over to here, I wonder which one is higher quality. Let's see. My sleep bonus is still on. This one higher it's just a little bit lower okay so let's let's try something I, I have an idea actually I'm just gonna turn off my sleep bonus so I'm not wasting it too much okay so I want to know does anybody know so I know that the epic trick, like if you're if you're on the Southern Freedom Isles and you go to epic, uh, because of the epic curve, it makes it easier to get your prayer skill up. Um, here, hold on. Let's pull this over here. Okay. So I think by doing this, I've made this. I'm still getting my influence. That's so weird. I wonder if this takes time to update, but I'm I'm trying to get into a like make this a faux domain. Let's see. I wonder if I have to wait a little bit. Does does it maybe it takes a while for it to turn the domain? But from what I understand of what the way the domains work is that the tile that the altar is on will be the strongest domain of that deity. And that when you have two overlapping domains, they compete for the tiles in between them. And it would depend on which altar is higher quality. Um, but let's suppose I push this one onto this tile here so that this tile should become a faux domain. And that tile there will be a Venoran domain. And I could stand over on this tile here in the faux domain and pray on that tile over there, like pray on that altar over there. Is that is that kind of like what we're talking about when it comes to being in another god's domain when you pray? 
problem is it feels like according to this thing I'm still in the domain of of Venora. Okay, hold on. Let's if I go over here. Yeah. I should be able to leave the domain of Venora if I walk away far enough. It should say something. In the event window. I would just improve the falter just to be safe. Yeah, I'd have to do that on my other tune though. Pull the spell okay, spell effects window. That's spell effects. Okay. So but you see like right, cause this it's this one, right? Faith bonus is beneficial effect caused by proximity. Is that the one that I'm looking at? Right? Like, I feel like that doesn't update well. You know, like, it takes a while to update. Like, I'm standing out here where I should be in a place with no, like, I no longer, oh, there, there it is. I no longer feel the presence of Venora. Okay, and if I go in here, I feel the presence of Venora. Okay, I see. So it is updating. Yeah, yeah, they have. It. Okay, so I feel the presence of Venora. So I'm in the domain of Venora due to that altar being there. But what about this faux altar? Is it? Is that faux altar not exerting its domain simply because the Venora altar is higher quality than it? Or is it that because I moved the faux altar, it loses the domain for a while and it takes a while, a bit to sort of pick up again? The fin overpowers the foe. But see, I have this memory of a Wormpedia page. Let me bring it up. On the topic of domain. Uh, and that's taking a little bit of time to load for some reason. How's my internet? Saw it flash yellow for a second. Hopefully the stream is good. Okay, and I, and I do remember this image getting added to the wiki at some point when they changed the way that the domain of alters works. Okay, so... And they also changed the effect of the bonuses somehow at the same time. And so let's say this, these are two 90 quality altars. One is a Magronon, one is a foe, and you can see that they're influenced and the numbers represent the amount of influence that they will have. So the amount of bonus that you get, right? Okay, so hold on. And if the foe, Pie there so that you could have Vin on the deed. Yeah, yeah. And cast on surface for high enchant and go into the mine for prayer and grind. I see. So the mine layer has a different sort of domain influence down there. Because you want the DD bonus when you try that. Yeah, exactly. So in Steam Server, in Cave, we played around altars and managed to make them about four tiles from one another, having the domains change in between the altars. Okay, yeah. So like, like kind of like this diagram is showing, where the faux altar and the Magronon altar are kind of like next to each other, and then the area in between, kind of, they're fighting over the domain. And it really depends on the number, right? Whichever one has the higher number at that tile there will, will win out. And the number is dependent on the quality of the altar. So what I'm hoping is that if you have two altars that are not equal, that they're still fighting in this way. These bonuses vary between gods. The strength of the bonus is affected by many variables, such as the followers, faith and alignment, the distance from the altar. See, the distance from the altar matters when determining the strength of the bonus and the altar's quality. The material type of the altar has no effect. Okay. The distance or influence for a domain depends entirely on the quality of nearby altars. The highest quality and therefore the most influential will control the domain of the area. Will control the domain of the area. In the example below, an altar of foe and altar of Magronon are within four tiles of each other. The resulting domain influences for each tile is pictured. Right, and it might be hard to make them at praying range to stand on different domains.
Okay. So yeah, I not I don't know. And I wonder if preying on, let's say, a water tile for Vin, does that give you similar? Let's let's go test it out. I'm just gonna pray down there for a little bit. I kind of have a sense of how much prayer skill I got just in that time that I was praying there. I could pray for a similar amount of time down by the water. Okay, I'm just gonna fall here. And now I'm not in the domain of Venora. Oops, oops, oops. I just hurt myself there. Do I have any cotton? Nope. No cotton. Okay, that's okay. I don't think it affects praying all that much. Okay, so let's turn on sleep bonus here and let's try praying at the water for a little while, see what happens. Just hire an altar boy and make him grind 70 prayer. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, kind of annoying that this is the way that prayer is. And, and as somebody pointed out earlier, I can't remember who, but it's further annoying that the prayer skill does nothing for you. I mean, I think that the only thing that is tangible that prayer does is it increases the chances that you get gems from praying, right? Right, so in Raybard, you're saying the quality of the altar, altar has an impact on the praying timer. I know what has more of an impact is your skill. So as your, fit, as your faith goes up, um, you get, yeah, you get lower timers. I don't think timer though makes much of a difference for praying. Like it, it might adjust the amount of skill gain you get per tick, but because there's no, it's not like a resource type skill. It's not like you're using up stuff or you have to move to a different tile each time or and it also doesn't require you to regain your stamina all that often in between. That that a shorter timer with smaller ticks kind of balance itself out with higher timer with higher ticks. Yeah, you need to be 50 faith to start getting gems, yeah, for prayer. And also I think you must do it at an altar. Yes, exactly. So you add an altar to get gems. I won't be getting gems here. I'm just curious to know if this gives me better skill gain. And already I kind of, I've only gotten two ticks, so it could be completely random, but already I'm feeling like it is better, but we'll, we'll I'll play this out a little bit. And to do a real test, I would have to use uh, Worm Assistant to get the skill gain per hour. And I should do this for probably half an hour or something like that to get a decent amount of skill in. Okay, there's another tick. So that's actually pretty good. I got three ticks so far in probably five prayers, which is a good percentage, I'd say. I'll keep going and just keep an eye on it. Again, this is definitely not a definitive test or anything like that. It's more going on feeling, but I know when I'm praying at an altar like I was before, the ticks are infrequent. Like I'm definitely getting nowhere near 50% of the time. There, I got another tick. That's four skill ticks in about six prays. I mean, again, it could have been luck, but if I have a 25% chance up on the altar, which is probably where I'm pegging it, and I just did four out of six. Okay, there's four out of seven. Yeah, exactly. My praying is still so low. But but again, it's you're right, and as your skill as your skill goes up, the chance of getting ticks is gonna go down. But what I'm trying to compare is what percentage of ticks I'm going to get at an altar versus water. And if I'm going to get more ticks at water, 
percentage wise and that probably means praying at water is a higher difficulty and it might also be because i'm not in the domain of venora as well that might affect things but that might be the solution to getting yourself out of your god's domain if you're trying to increase um your skill gain on prayer sorry let me just check this out here Okay, I just need to reply to this. Just go through the epic portal. Can I go through the epic portal? Is epic connected to the northern freedom isles? I don't think so. That's just a guess though. Yeah, no, yeah, so I can't. I'm on the Northern Freedom Isles, so that doesn't seem like an option. I definitely can make a portal. It's just not an epic portal. It'll be a defiance portal. Restart on the old cluster, yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that. Um, and on the old cluster, all of the journal stuff happened after I leveled up all my priests. So, and I never really got to the journals. Honestly, I never did any of the journal work. Okay, so I've gone a bunch now without getting a prayer tick. So that's sort of squashed my my, my theory there. Yeah, I'm not sure what their decision was, the epic. I honestly have a feeling, and they haven't said this outright, but this is my sense, and they probably, if they heard me say this, they, the devs would probably say, no, 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 this is definitely not the case. But my feeling is, is that they're trying to, they're, they're not, they want to not encourage the population to go up on epic because they want to sort of see epic was a thing where they were developing it and pushing for its development and it was supposed to be something different than the main experience of the game and it got to the point where it was like well it's not kind of working the population's dwindling there and it's not worth spending the dev time on epic and freedom separately so they i would honestly say they probably have stopped developing um they stopped developing epic uh i just got a gem from praying on the water so that defeats that theory right right here at 1207 venora put something in my pocket i got a diamond so it seems like you can get gems from praying at the water that's good to know uh, i also got an opal but lo notice the quality is low on these really low <laughs> so maybe the gem quality is going to be lower on the water, but you can still get them. Code, so my theory is that they probably have some code already that created it is going to incentivize Epic to transfer to SFI and then decommission Epic servers altogether. Okay, so that first part of your theory already happened. Okay, so they already implemented some system where you can go from Epic to Freedom and carry f over your skills at a adjusted amount. Okay, so like let's say you got to 90 in something uh, on Epic, then you'll come over to Freedom and you'll come out at 70 or something like that on that same skill or 75. I don't know what the adjustment was, but but then in that skill that you got lowered, you will have a three times skill gain up to that 90. Okay, so you'll be able to get back to that 90 a lot quicker on the old one. Okay, so that's already there. Whether or not they're going to decommission the Epic servers, they're probably just not going, they're probably going to keep them there, but just not develop them. That's my, my guess. Um, do you need to be a priest to grind praying? No, you don't need to be a priest. So. You just need to be a follower.
Oh yeah, you need to be a priest to unlock the priest journal, but but you can grind it all the way to like six. I even feel like you can grind it to seventy. That would be silly if they didn't allow this, because like let's say you were a regular player, not a priest, you grind it all the way to seventy prayer, and then you become a priest after that. When you unlock benediction, my feeling is that you will automatically have completed that that one, right? I, I feel like it, because that would be silly if you were you grinded seventy prayer before becoming a priest. Then you become a priest afterwards. Then it's impossible to get this now. I don't think that that's the way it should be. Although I'm sure nobody's tested that yet. And I bet you a GM would come in and fix it for you if you have 70 prayer and you're a priest and you can't unlock that because the game mechanics aren't coded that way. I'm sure that a GM would fix that for you. So I wanted to inquire if anybody in the chat knows anything about the method that people are talking about to get their prayer to 70 by becoming a champion on Chaos or Epic. Does anybody know anything about that? And I'm going to look up something over here to see about this, because if this is still in the game, I don't know what to say about it. So let's say champion, champion player. Okay, so let's see here. Champion points, blah, blah, blah. So this is how you become a champion. You gain points or whatever. To become a champion, you need to be a priest with 50 faith if you're a follower. Okay, so there's some requirements to becoming a champion. Um, you visit the altar to become a champion. To trigger championhood, you must right-click the altar and press the alternative real test. Interesting. That's weird. Okay. And that there's a maximum number of champions. So let's see the bonuses. The bonus is plus five to all characteristic skills. Faith is set to 99.99. 50 is added to all the skills. Praying, channeling, exorcism. So there it is. What the? What the? You know, like, come on. Okay, so it seems as though, and this is still a thing, I think. I do know that you used to get more praying skill, I think 50 when champion. However, I. Never heard of anyone applying that to the journal. So I've heard people doing this and getting benediction out of them. Right? What the heck? Right. Exactly. Exactly, cats. What the heck? Like, and the, and the fact that that hasn't even been addressed. So this is an old mechanic. This happened way back from the beginning of time that you can become a champion on any of the PvP servers. So you can go to Chaos, you can go to Epic, you can go to Defiance. Now, my f I kind of remember at the beginning they removed champions from Defiance when they added Defiance. So champion, and I'm not sure if they added them back yet. Um, but if they did add them back, I don't think they changed this thing. Right? Okay, so problem with champions, you cannot leave chaos, right? So you'll have to de-champ yourself through death and lose status. Yeah, but, but come on, like that's totally worth it. Like what are you what are you, what what are you gonna lose here that isn't worth gaining benediction? And I believe it does. Right, I believe it does. From what I've heard of people's, people have mentioned this as a tactic. So they will go, they will, you know, level up their prayer to 20, which is like takes no time. And then they'll go over to chaos and become a champ and that increases their channeling to 70 and they get the benediction. And then they die, lose champion and come back to freedom. 
And sure, dying, you'll lose a little bit of skill. You'll lose maybe a little bit of faith. Even if you lose a little bit of channeling, I bet any priest will sacrifice 0.25 channeling for 70 prayer if it happened like in an instant. Right? Like if I could click a button and I'll lose 0.25, I'll even I'll even give point I'll even give one full skill of channeling away. <laughs> Take my one skill of channeling, just give me 70 prayer. Give me the benediction, you know, prayer check mark. I'll take that any day. Like, I, I just can't believe that that's a thing, right? Right, you lose, yeah, you lose the 30 prayer, but then you get, you get the journal entry. Like, whatever you lose, like, you can gain that stuff back. And <laughs> having benediction, benediction is a huge thing. Plus five power to cast, plus five power. So every cast that you do gives you an extra five power. That is super, super valuable. Okay, so I, I honestly feel like there's something broken here, right? Because everybody who's trying to level this up legitimately is experiencing what I'm experiencing here, which is I'm sitting here praying at a tile. I'm getting 26 second action timers. I'm doing this over and over again mindlessly to get a skill up that is not going to help me in the least as a priest. The skill itself will not improve me as a priest in any way, shape or form, aside from maybe increasing the chances that I get a gem, which is, I'll admit, a nice little perk. So I get a better chance at getting a gem on a prey action a little bit. But honestly, on before the journal entries, I was never motivated to skill up my prayer for that as a reward. I, I feel like that reward is not balanced with the effort it takes to get your prayer up. But they add this new thing that basically says, if you get 70 prayer, you will get plus five power to your cast, to all your casts. Uh, plus you have to get all these other things, which are probably it would take me just as long to get all the other things as it would be to get this 170 prayer. Um, and then there's this cheese mechanic that if you know about it, you can go over to the Epic and just champ and with, by a click of a button, you can get 70 prayer and get that thing. There is something, I've just, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. It just seems broken. Yeah, you're starting to rethink having a priest, right? So how do you get to elevation and how do I get back? Okay, so on the old cluster, so on the Southern Freedom Isles, you just have to build an epic portal, which is a few components, a couple logs. I, don't, I actually don't even know what it takes to build an epic portal. Let me just take a peek here. Epic, nope, portal, portal, PVP portal, that's what it's called log and a stone brick and then another few logs and another some stone bricks. So you build this thing and then you right click it and you walk through or you use it. And if you're on the Southern Freedom Isles, it'll teleport you to elevation, not elevation, but um, to Epic, probably one of the home servers. If you're on this server, the uh, or Northern Freedom Isles, you'll get teleported to Defiance. Now, I'm not 100% sure how it works on Defiance, whether or not champing works there, or whether or not, um, you know, whether or not this cheese tactic works on Defiance, I don't know. But uh, it's definitely something that bothers me that it's in the game. Right. Exactly. Now, here's another thing. So. So you're 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 doing this based on your intuition, and I think that most of your intuition is right, John. Right? It says, "I never mess with this, but logic tells me that if you want to have a that you'll want to have a one quality damage altar off deed in another do god's domain with a damaged character with metal armor on or something along these lines." Okay, so mostly right. One quality altar, uh, not in the domain of the god, is probably all that's required there. Um, but in addition, here's another thing that really bothers me: is that faith. Your face, uh, as that goes up, it increases your success for the prayer action. So 
Another criteria for optimizing your skill gain is to have a low faith. So you want to decrease your faith as much as possible. That will increase the chances that you get a prayer tick. Which partially explains why at low levels you can get your prayer up quite quickly just by praying not that often. Uh, because at low faith, you get better chance of getting a prayer tick. Which kind of hurts all the people trying to get to 70 prayer because by the time that you're trying to grind 70 prayer, the chances are your faith is going to be high. Okay, so this brings me to another cheese tactic that people have been telling me about. Right, so and this works even on the new servers. If I have to visit a PvP server, I would say it's not worth it. Okay, yeah, so... Right, and, and maybe maybe you can find some people who are helpful. Right, you sense a rant coming, yes, yes. Here, here's another cheese tacky, and it's actually something I'm half debating whether or not I'm gonna do this to get to 70 prayer. Um, and somebody up above was hinting that their friend was doing this, but nonetheless was still taking forever. So if faith does factor into the chances of getting a tick, so low faith is the optimal skill gain, what you could do is you could teleport over to the PVP server. Just create a one quality altar outside, you know, just one quality altar. And then what's gonna happen when you go through the PVP portal is that your faith is going to reset. So you're gonna be back to zero. I think all your skills stay the same except, and this is again, only talking about Northern Freedom Isles to Defiance. The way that the skills transfer over is that all your skills would transfer over except for your faith and maybe one other thing, maybe meditation or something like that. Okay, so you go over there, you get lower, lower your faith to one. You're gonna have to follow a God. So you go to one of the light, I don't even know actually how you convert to a DD over there, but you have to convert to a DD and then you just prayer over there and get your prayer up. Now, what's nice is that when you come back to freedom, your prayer will, whatever you grind your prayer to be, it'll stay and transfer back. Oh, faith and fight skill don't transfer. So your faith is going to be low. And so you can grind your prayer all the way up while keeping your faith low. Um, so you got two priests and got benediction on both of them. It does help, but boy, did I have to grind. Yes. Yes. I mean, you guys are watching me do this. And uh, if this is what your play session is like every day, you get on and you pray for hours and then you get off and you have one prayer. <laughs> you got one prayer in that. Um, yeah, that could be that could be a little bit. A little bit. And I'm, I'm feeling like even at the water, I'm not getting the skill gains that I would get up at the altar. Like it's about the same, right? Like it's not that much worse or that much better. And up at the altar, I'm getting better quality gems. I would say it's not worth it to be down here at the water. So anyway, I feel like something needs to be done. I'm not sure what needs to be done, but something. The browser's still up, thank you, Pexy. Something needs to get done about that. And I'm not sure what they are, if this is even on their radar. Like, is this something that they're interested in, in changing? Um, some people might argue that if they make it easier, then it sort of devalues everybody's hard work and effort that went through the grind to get their prayer up to 70. Um, and I think that that's a somewhat valid argument, but like even those people who grinded up to 70 have to admit that this is a stupid grind. Okay, with the faith in mind, that would mean that you would want to do the prayer grind nonstop immediately before your stats are high. Making sense from a role-playing point, I guess. Dumb, but it has some basis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It does make sense. I mean, all skills in this game work this way. That when your skill is low, the difficulty for completing an action is high. It, that should make sense, right? Like, the higher your skill, the easier it is to do stuff. And then you couple that with that you get a skill tick 
right? You will get a skill tick if the action comes out at a low sort of like outcome. So if you skill, if you if you're successful, if you're too successful, your skill you won't get a skill tick, and that's just because like if it's too easy for you to do, you don't learn anything. That kind of makes some logical sense too, right? Like if something is way too easy, you're not actually learning. It has to be somewhat hard, and you actually have to be successful a little bit in order for you to be learning. That makes sense. But then you couple those two together along with this fate, this prayer problem. It just, something feels wrong about it. But wait, then you would need to grind body stamina too, so you don't run out of it with more secured prayers and get the XP tick buff for no stamina. Yeah, well, okay, now you're, now you're going too meta, I think. I guess, but I would say that you can't stop improving stuff because people have a hard time in the past. Right. Right. Exactly. So that, like that, that's that argument. I think Buddha said it last stream, which is like, we can't make things easier because it was hard for me, so it has to be hard for everybody. Yeah, like that argument doesn't seem to make sense. Like, don't improve everything because don't don't improve the game to make it easier because it was hard for me, so it must be hard for everybody. Um, but at the same time, I also feel like it should be hard to get benediction. Like, it shouldn't be something that... Like, if I took... If, let's say... Whoops, let's take a look at the benediction. If, let's say, we got rid of that one, but kept everything else, I would honestly say that benediction is way too easy to get. Right? It's like that 70 prayer is the bottleneck. All the other ones are going to just come... You don't even have to grind them. They're just going to come um, aside from creating a gold altar and aside from holding a hundred sermons. Okay. All the rest are just going to come from regular. Oh, okay. There was one more. There was cast a global cell. Okay. Now the, the, those three that I said will take some effort, but with a little bit of organization, they aren't impossible. They aren't like, they aren't going to take you too long. Like, Casting a global spell, well, I'll have to wait until a global spell is ready to be cast. I'll have to contact the people who are planning on casting it and say, hey, can I just come with my priest and link? And more than likely, they will agree. Okay, so it does take a little bit of effort, but it's not like I'm going to be sitting next to an altar for hundreds of hours just spamming the same button over and over again. Um, yeah. Yeah, the risk of new players stopping or not playing. Yeah, I know. Like it's <laughs> this guy wants to make things easier. He hates the spirit of the game. He wants an easy game. Yeah, I know. I, I honestly don't want an easier game. What I want is an equally challenging, um, an equally challenging uh, target, but one that is more motivating to get. Like, for example, if they replace the Reach 70 prayer with Reach 90 channeling, even Reach 95 channeling, I would be totally up for that. Even if channeling takes more actions, like if it if it takes more actions to get to 90 challenging, 90 channeling and more time to get to 90, 90 channel, channeling, I'll take the 90 channeling over the 70 prayer like any day because I know that channeling is going to benefit me in the long run. And I'm already motivated to level up my channeling, right? So it's not necessarily about how ridiculous it is to get to 70 channel uh, prayer. It's that how ridiculously useless prayer is as a skill. And now you're asking me to level it up for something else? I don't know. Okay, so... This brings up a point for you. What if you start priest, a priest, grind prayer to 70, your faith caps at 30 until you priest, so it prevents the faith from rising, therefore reducing the difficulty problem of faith? Yes. You are right, John. This is the way, this is one mechanic that you can use to help increase your prayer so that is to say grind your prayer to 70 before becoming a priest now 
if that doesn't make you think like this is kind of broken <laughs> then i don't know what would okay so there's a middle ground between easy and ridiculous yes taxi there there should be fair end i hated my journal i hated my journey therefore everyone else should too exactly i know it's like <laughs> i'm not saying they should change it i'm just saying that the specific argument doesn't sound like a good one right this might just be me but i feel like you shouldn't balance things based off of people who will play for 16 hours a day grinding to get that addition <laughs> right like balance it in so that the people who play 16 hours a day are balanced but then what about those people who play only a couple hours a day yeah so i'm just gonna skip through some of these but I, i'm reading them um Right, you don't want to make benediction too easy because then everybody gets benediction and then it sort of devalues that. But I don't know. Yeah. So you felt that instead of having 70 prayer add to the, you have to successfully cast 50 power spells on tools, weapons, to something like 500 items with 50 power on them. I mean, I think there is something like that already, right? Like... What was it? Maybe it wasn't. But honestly, if you're going to replace the 70 prayer with casting 50 plus power on items X number of times, uh, that most people look at that and say that that's super easy. Like just that's going to happen super in super not. Yeah, that wouldn't take very long at all to get to that point like in the same way as like spend a hundred thousand favor that that's in my eyes super easy like i haven't done anything as this priest practically and i'm at 54 percent of that like that would be almost the equivalent like eventually you're going to get there uh i would say that the fix is to make the count multi tune slots okay it sounds like that's coming though they're gonna reorganize how the um account system works and amethyst says 70 prayer really shows your dedication to the god and channeling would be for you and not for the god true true but i mean you're talking more from a role-playing perspective right uh, but you know these journal items aren't all to the god either right there is the reach 20 channeling here Right, so that's that's already a, a target. So I clean the map. So you talked to Guy on Cadence, just did it a few days ago. He was already a priest, but created a new one just to pray for many weeks. <laughs> My God. Oh, I mean, like it's, it's these types of stories that it drives me crazy that people are like just to optimize the skill gain for prayer. They're like scrapping all their progress to start again so that they didn't mess up the thing that like becoming a priest is a problem for prayer skill. Like this just tells me that something is wrong here. Like I almost feel like they just, like, one thing, like, I'd be perfectly happy if they just adjusted the skill gain for prayer to make it so that as your prayer skill goes up, it does not detriment the skill ticks that you get as harshly as it does. Like, I've heard once you get to 60, you're only getting, like, one skill tick every six or seven prays, or maybe even worse than that. Um... That's pretty bad. Yeah. Make a reason to grind prayer and voila, you have a reason. So that's a possibility. Yeah, if like prayer skill actually does something in addition to increasing the chance that you get dime, uh, gems, totally. I, I think that that would increase the motivation for prayer. 
by the time that you pray to 70 on freedom, a 90 power COC would cost like 80 copper. Yeah, totally. Now, you say that, but I also know that there's people who have gotten benediction on the new servers already. I saw somebody saying that they got benediction one month after the server opened. So I don't know what they did to get to 70 prayer, but they probably optimized it. They knew exactly how to do it. So yeah, you got 65 plus prayer and can spam six actions. I've done so three full cues and no tick, right? So 18 actions, no prayer, tick. That to me is just hurts me inside a little bit. Veteran secrets here. Mm -hmm. But honestly, the veteran secrets, I've just laid them all out. So what I'm guessing is that what they did was they knew not to priest. They kept themselves as a follower and grinded it first on PVP. They probably did the whole thing with the low quality altar. They found a way to get into another God's domain. And then they played 16 hour days. That's what they did. And they did that for a month. So, you know, 10 hours of praying every day for a month, that'll probably do it. Right? That'll probably do it. And they probably bought a whole bunch of sleep powders to make sure they had sleep bonus. They probably made affinity food for the prayer affinity. They probably did all the bells and whistles and played for 16 hours, grinding that prayer. And then they became a priest. So I have no doubt there are people who did that right at the beginning. And the question is, is that an ex exploit? I would say that that's not necessarily an exploit. Um, I would go so far as calling the champion, championing, like using the champ method, that's probably borderlining exploit. I I feel like they should have the the all that the devs had needed to do to fix that is just make prayer not one of the skills that go up to fifty, or not go up by by fifty rather. Um, yeah, you might not do the seventy prayer and just level twenty skills to ninety. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It is a clever use, but it's also, I would bet any money that when the devs were adding the journal, they didn't, it didn't dawn on them that that was a method. Like it was not intended. So it makes me wonder why, once they found out that that was happening, why they didn't address it 